So if ever, if ever you will be employed or a company, how much salary you are expecting? Well, that's a very difficult question, I guess. Well, that would uh, that would depend on the the extent of my job, the scope of my job. Usually, if, if it is if you are going to base it on the market, the range for that is eighteen to twenty. This is the range for that. But uh, I am negotiable. I could I could negotiate. And and how long do you expect to remain employed in this company? Whatever you want. Um, I can tell you the exact number of years, number of months I can stay with the company. Uh, for me, I believe as long as the company needs me, as long as I have still the growth I need, uh, as long as I can contribute something to the company, which is very helpful, then I could still stay with the company. So um, you said that you took AB Industrial Psychology in the University of Cebu. So how does your education or exper um, experience relate to this job? Yes, um, I took up Industrial Psychology. It is related since it's industry based. So psychology, um, studying the people at work or in the workplace, so it's related. And my experience also, for the past uh, four years of my experience, I believe that I am already adept on, on the position that I am at home. So, Ms. Tan, uh, for you, how would you be an asset to this organization or to this company? An asset? Well, uh, I could brag. Since I, I could brag, I can flaunt on my competencies. Uh, they called me, or they sometimes told me that I am already a seasoned um, recruitment um, specialist. Well, um, I am good in detecting or determining the person's behavior and personality, especially on the non-language or the non-verbal. Uh, I am very keen on details, especially on conducting an interview with a person. I am organized. I don't like or I. I am most, I am at my best when I am working in an organized environment. So tell me about the time when you worked successfully as a member of a team. As a member of a team, yes. In, an op in the office, in, in the, uh, I'll just use the Muramoto Experience. We are seven in the office, so there are, there's one manager, one supervisor, and uh, five staff, including me. We we uh, collaborate, we coordinate as to as to the the scope of our job. Even though our job is specialist, we handle a specialization at each of our job. I handle recruitment. The other person handle the comp band. The other person handle the employee relations. But if they need something from from uh, from anybody, I am where we are ready to help each other. Especially when there is an incoming activity, when there is an activity to be to be um, conducted, we are always ready, and I am always ready to help those people in need. So, um, describe a time when you were in high pressure situation. So, what did you do, or how will we handle that situation? High pressure. Well. As much as I could, I really don't want pressures. But when it, when really it, um, the, the, the work is accumulating or piling, um, I pause first. I compose myself because that's the only time that I can think clearly. I have to clear my mind first, and then it's the time I'm going to work with the pressure that is piling or 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 I'm going to. Work. So, Ms. Tan, can you describe a situation when you had to ensure that in a team or in a particular uh, group that your actions spoke louder than your words? Yes, well, that is um, basing on following the company policies. Uh, each company has their own policies and it is strictly implemented and everybody should follow what the company policies are. And 
no need to say or needless to say telling the, the these people that you have to follow company policies because we're already mature and we already know what we're doing so what i did is just doing what is right or shall we say to towing the line uh, strictly following what is what is um, expected of us and in that way um, other people could see me doing the right thing then of course they would also do the right thing Oh, Ms. Tan, you said that you had a four-year experience. Mm -hmm. uh, in those experiences, what are the um, accomplishments give you gave you the greatest uh, satisfaction? That was during uh, my employment with Muramoto Shobishwa. We do have a mass hiring at that time. It is uh, it, there was a month which is very peak, a peak season. I was asked to hire a hundred employees. Uh, for production that was a very tight schedule since the schedule the, the time was given was only two weeks to hire and to look for these people so all i did is i exert more effort i i have my overtime um even sundays holidays i go to work just to to beat the deadline just to give this the department the the manpower that they need uh, well i guess i i I consider it as my biggest achievement since I was able to give them the 100 one power that they needed in the um, much constra um, time constraint phase. Um, so, if ever we will hire you, um, would you like for the company? Would you lie for the company? Lie, as in? Yes. Would I lie? Of course, for that's that's unethical when you are lying to the company. Of course, I'm not going to do that since um, morality-wise, it's not good. And that's that's not the values that I have learned when I was young or to now. So, um, Ms. Stan, I just guess <laughs> we guess that we got all the information we needed from you for this application. So, um, thank you for coming and um, keep, keep your lines open and we, we will keep in touch to you for the feedback after the, the deliberation for this. Okay. Thank you very much also for your time. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.